Hello everyone. Today, Wilfred going to talk about short story of Yugoslavia. Let's start the video. Yugoslavia was a country in southeastern and central Europe for most of the 20th century. It came into existence after World War I in 1918, under the name of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes by the merger of the provisional state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs, with the Kingdom of Serbia, and constituted the first union of the South Slavic people as a sovereign state, following centuries in which the region had been part of the Ottoman Empire and Austria-Hungary. Peter I of Serbia was its first sovereign. The Kingdom gained international recognition on the 13th of July 1922 at the Conference of Ambassadors in Paris. The official name of the state was changed to Kingdom of Yugoslavia on the 3rd of October 1929. Yugoslavia was invaded by the Axis powers on the 6th of April 1941. In 1943, a democratic federal Yugoslavia was proclaimed by the partisan resistance. In 1944 King Peter II, then living in exile, recognized it as the legitimate government. The monarchy was subsequently abolished in November 1945. Yugoslavia was renamed the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia in 1946, when a communist government was established. It acquired the territories of the Strike, Rebjeka, and Zadar from Italy. Partisan leader Joseph Ross Tito ruled the country as president until his death in 1980. In 1963, the country was renamed again as the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. After the breakup, the republics of Montenegro and Serbia formed a reduced federative state. Serbia and Montenegro, known officially until 2003 as the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, thrived. This state aspired to the status of sole legal successor to the Sfri, but those claims were imposed by the other former republics. Eventually, it accepted the opinion of the Winter Arbitration Committee about shared succession, and in 2003 its official name was changed to Serbia and Montenegro. This state dissolved when Montenegro and Serbia each became independent states in 2006, while Kosovo proclaimed its independence from Serbia in 2008. On the 20th of June 1928, Serb deputy Ponisarasic shot at five members of the opposition Croatian peasant party in the National Assembly resulting in the death of two deputies on the spot and that of leader Stepan Radic a few weeks later. On the 6th of January 1929, King Alexander I suspended the constitution, banned national political parties, assumed executive power and renamed the country Yugoslavia. He hoped to curb separatist tendencies and mitigate nationalist passions. He imposed a new constitution and relinquished his dictatorship in 1931. However, Alexander's policies later encountered opposition from other European powers stemming from developments in Italy and Germany, where fascists and Nazis rose to power, in the Soviet Union, where Joseph Stalin became absolute ruler. None of these three regimes favored the policy pursued by Alexander I. In fact, Italy and Germany wanted to revise the international treaties signed after World War I. The Soviets were determined to regain their positions in Europe and pursue a more active international policy. The king was assassinated in Marseille during an official visit to France in 1934 by Vlado Chernozemsky and experienced marksman from Ivan Mikhailov's internal Macedonian revolutionary organization with the cooperation of the Eustace, a Croatian fascist revolutionary organization. Alexander was succeeded by his 11 year old son Peter II in a regency council headed by his cousin, Prince Paul. The national political scene in the late 1930s was marked by growing intolerance between the principal figures, by the aggressive attitude of the totalitarian regimes, and by the certainty that the order set up after World War I was losing its strongholds and its sponsors were losing their strength. Supported and pressured by fascist Italy and Nazi Germany, Croatian leader Vlad Komacek and his party managed the creation of the Ivano of Croatia in 1939. The agreement specified that Croatia was to remain part of Yugoslavia, but it was an early building of independent political aid to the international relations. The entire kingdom was to be federalized, but World War II stopped the fulfillment of those plans. Prince Paul submitted to the fascist pressure and signed the Tripartite Pact in Vienna on the 25th of March 1941, hoping to still keep Yugoslavia out of the war. But this was at the expense of popular support for Paul's regency. 
Senior military officers were also opposed to the treaty and launched a coup d'etat when the king returned on the 27th of March. Army General Guzan Slavic seized power, arrested the Vienna delegation, exiled Paul, and ended the regency, giving 17-year-old King Peter full powers. Hitler then decided to attack Yugoslavia on the 6th of April 1941, followed immediately by an invasion of Greece, where Mussolini had previously been repelled. The war broke out when the new regimes tried to replace Yugoslav civilian and military forces with secessionist forces. When, in August 1990, Croatia attempted to replace police in the Serb-populated Croat Krajina by force, the population first looked for refuge in the Yugoslavian army barracks, but the army remained passive. The civilians then organized armed resistance. These armed conflicts between the Croatian armed forces, police, and civilians marked the beginning of the Yugoslav war that inflamed the region. Similarly, the attempt to replace Yugoslav frontier police by Slovene police forces provoked regional armed conflicts which finished with a minimum number of victims. A similar attempt in Bosnia and Herzegovina led to a war that lasted more than three years, see below. The results of all these conflicts are almost complete emigration of the Serbs from all three regions, massive displacement of the populations in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and establishment of the three new independent states. The separation of Macedonia was peaceful, although the Yugoslav army occupied the peak of the Strasa mountain on the Macedonian soil. Serbian uprisings in Croatia began in August 1990 by blocking roads leading from the Dalmatian coast towards the interior almost a year before Croatian leadership made any move towards independence. These uprisings were more or less discreetly backed up by the Serb-dominated Federal Army JNA. The Serbs in Croatia proclaimed Serb autonomous areas, later united into the Republic of Serb Krajina. The Federal Army tried to disarm the Territorial Defense Forces of Slovenia. Republics had their local defense forces similar to the Home Guard in 1990, but was not completely successful. Still, Slovenia began to covertly import arms to replenish its armed forces. On the 9th of March 1980, demonstrations were held against Slobodan Milosevic in Belgrade, but the police and the military were deployed in the streets to restore order, killing two people. In late March 1991, the Plitvis Lakes incident was one of the first sparks of open war in Croatia. The Yugoslav People's Army, JNA, whose superior officers were mainly of Serbian ethnicity, maintained an impression of being neutral, but as time went on, they got more and more involved in state politics. In September 1981, the Republic of Macedonia also declared independence, becoming the only former republic to gain sovereignty without resistance from the Belgrade-based Yugoslav authorities. 500 U.S. soldiers were then deployed under the U.N. banner to monitor Macedonia's northern borders with the Republic of Serbia. Macedonia's first president, Kira Gligorov, maintained good relations with Belgrade and the other breakaway republics, and thereafter there have been no problems between Macedonian and Serbian border police even though small pockets of Kosovo and the Presevo Valley complete the northern reaches of the historical region known as Macedonia, a Horbsinski part which would otherwise create a border dispute if ever Macedonian nationalism should resurface in Sibiru. This was despite the fact that the Yugoslav army refused to abandon its military infrastructure on the top of the Straza mountain up to the year 2000. In Bosnia and Herzegovina in November 1991, the Bosnian Serbs held a referendum which resulted in an overwhelming vote in favor of forming a Serbian Republic within the borders of Bosnia and Herzegovina and staying in a common state with Serbia and Montenegro. On the 9th of January 1992, the self-proclaimed Bosnian Serb assembly proclaimed a separate republic of the Serb people of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The referendum and creation of SARS were proclaimed unconstitutional by the government of Bosnia and Herzegovina and declared illegal and invalid. However, in February March 1992, the government held a national referendum on Bosnian independence from Yugoslavia. That referendum was in turn declared contrary to the by and the federal constitution by the federal constitutional court in Belgrade and the newly established Bosnian Serb government. The referendum was largely boycotted by the Bosnian Serbs. The federal court in Belgrade did not decide on the matter of the referendum of the Bosnian Serbs. The turnout was somewhere between 64-67% and 98% of the voters voted for independence. It was not clear what the two-thirds majority required would actually amend and whether it was satisfied. 
The Republic's government declared its independence on the 5th of April, and the Serbs immediately declared the independence of Republic Serbska. The war in Bosnia followed shortly thereafter. The 25th of June 1991, Croatia and Slovenia declared independence. The 8th of September 1991, following the referendum, the Republic of Macedonia declared independence. The 8th of October 1991. On the 9th of July, moratorium on Slovene and Croatian secession ended and Croatia restated its independence in the Croatian parliament. The 15th of January 1992, when Slovenia and Croatia were internationally recognized by most European countries. The 6th of April 1992, full recognition of Bosnia and Herzegovina's independence by the US and most European states. The 28th of April 1992, the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia is formed. The 14th of December 1995, the Dayton Agreement is signed by the leaders of FR Yugoslavia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Croatia. Thank you for watching. Please, don't forget subscribe my channel and like the video.